With voiceover, commentary can be put directly into the timeline. To do so, we first click on the button with the microphone symbol. This opens the voiceover dialog box. The sound card is listed under Device. The sound card input is selected over Channel. If we're dealing with a microphone input with a mono connection, like this here, the two volume controls and the peak meter are reduced onto one channel. We set the volume so that the peak value of 0 dB is not exceeded. This guarantees the best sound quality. Under Output, we can either select the current audio track or the bin window. Let's stay with the audio track. If you want, it's also possible here to change the file name or to select a new memory location. The standard settings, however, have proven themselves to be the best. Prior to recording, another in point must be set. Press the I key. Also, the recording track must be selected. We click on Start and Adius automatically shifts back 5 seconds. A white dot appears and the countdown starts. The recording starts at the in point. After the text has been spoken, we click on End. We confirm with Yes and the audio wave lines appear in the timeline.